then you continue looking at it in line with this. The British government, the German government, the U.S. government are now this week declaring CO2, one of many greenhouse gases that plants live off of, and then they exhale oxygen that uh, humans and animals uh, live off of, uh, breathe. EPA rules CO2 is harmful. Though CO2 has been as high as 20 times the level it currently is in previous history on Earth, plants live longer, grow faster, need less water to survive in a higher CO2 environment. And all human activity, even according to the UN's own cooked numbers, based on fraudulent climate data that documents have now been released in the last seven days where the UN orchestrated this with all the scientists, I mean, this is amazing, uh, that even with their cook numbers, they admit that humans are a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of all the CO2 on the planet. And, of course, humans also exhale CO2. There's another excellent headline uh, out of the London Telegraph today. Climate Gate, Barack Obama's rule by EPA decree is a coup d'etat against Congress made in Britain. And it doesn't matter if the U.S. Senate and the House say they're not going to ratify this. Obama is saying he's going to sign it, and Obama is saying that he's going to order the bureaucracy to implement this. This is no idle threat. Barack H. Obama is following in the footsteps of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger couldn't get the California legislature to ban television sets above 40 inches, claiming they were energy hogs, and tax all other television sets. So he just ordered the California Energy Department one month ago to implement by fiat uh, a, a, a extra legislative, extra judicial decree that this would be done. So this is the dictatorial mode being used to implement this. In closing, make no mistake, when the United Nations says this is the most important meeting they've ever had, when YouTube and Google have full-page ads on their front pages saying the future destiny of man is being charted, they're not lying. Open world government, dictatorial, authoritative, tyrannical world government is being formed right now where the planet's elite will dictate all human activity and all manufacturing activity and all transportation activity on the planet. This is being done right now against you and your family by the very same central banks that have engineered the global collapse. Even McClatchy newspapers done reports about how Goldman Sachs was planning the housing bubble, telling people to bet on it when they were betting against it so they could destroy their competition. This is about the parasites of our economy, the parasites of the world, setting up a private corporate government for themselves. Climate gate and the emails proving that they know it's a fraud and only a political tool to hijack the world's resources and control it for their own aim is only the literal tip of the iceberg. The phony environmentalists at the top know this has nothing to do with the environment. It has to do with a massive power grab to control the future destiny of civilization and society, and most importantly, to freeze the third world, their economic development. Just in the United States in the last five years, more than a third of our agricultural base has been used to produce ethanol. This has triggered, admittedly, a doubling in world food prices in the last three years, and riots, food riots, as people starve to death across the world. This is eugenics. This is genocide. The global elite believe humans are parasites, and they are carrying out a program of genocide against free humanity. Please tell everyone you know that this is a distraction from real environmental crises like cross-species genetic engineering and toxic waste dumping and overfishing of the oceans, real issues that aren't being addressed. This is a global authority taking control of the life-giving gas carbon dioxide and listing it as a toxic pollutant so they have the power to tax and destroy and consolidate the world economy. I want to, in closing, read you a quote from Maurice Strong that he gave in Rio de Janeiro to the first Earth Summit in 1992. He said, Is it the only hope for the planet that the industrialized civilizations collapse? Isn't it our responsibility to bring that about? 
There are literally hundreds of other quotes by these men and women, these Malthusians, these eugenicists, these Hitlerian supporters of population reduction. Paul Ehrlich, one of the chief advisors of George Bush Sr., who co-wrote the book with Holdren, John P. Holdren, Eco-Science, calling for sterilizing the population, setting up a planetary regime to carry this out. He said, a massive campaign must be launched to de-develop the United States. Dedevelopment means bringing our economic system into line with the realities of the ecology of the world resource situation. My friends, you better learn about eugenics. You better understand the mindset of the controllers and how they want a global monopoly. Capitalism has been seized by robber barons that want a world monopoly. And they are funding the radical eugenics cult that masquerades as environmentalists. We must defeat Copenhagen. We must come together against this tyranny. We must stand together and speak out and warn everyone. And we must demand that even though Obama is set to sign this treaty, that it not be ratified in the U.S. Senate. We must then block the states from complying with the federal bureaucracy who will do an end run around the legislative process to implement this system. I'm Alex Jones, and this is the Info War, the fight for all of our lives, the fight for all of our futures, and the future destiny of free humanity.